Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, it's later in the day, Memorial Day. Um, I just got done tearing out my trunk liner, and it's going to kind of just go through a, a talk through of how I tore that out. I got some still photos that are going to help kind of illustrate how I took it out. So, here we go. Okay, so anyway, here, guys, here's my, my trunk liner completely exposed. Uh, bare trunk. You can see the light kind of hanging there. You got to watch out for that when you take this out. Um, so let's kind of start where I started. So first things first is you have to remove the uh, liner here. That comes out. Simply pull back on the seal and kind of start tugging at it. It's got clips that hold it in here and here, here and here. And the whole thing comes out. Once you get that out, then it's time to start kind of pulling clips. There are a bunch of them on the top here. There's about three of them that hold the trunk liner in at the top. You can just start ripping those out. If need be, you can get some Christmas trees from Advanced Auto Parts or O'Reilly's or AutoZone or whatever to replace them. So there's three on each side that hold it into the roof. Um, when you start pulling it away, there are also two clips. They're kind of hard to see down here on the bottom, one on each side. Um, and as you start pulling it away, on this side you have to watch out for this light, trunk light that comes in if you have one. And on the other side, you have, I have a power outlet in my trunk. If you don't have one, don't worry about it. If you do, watch out for that, make sure you pull and plug that. Um, also, there's a special little clip. It's kind of hard to see. It's like over here that holds the little uh, net retainer in. Um, so it's like a little storage area, everybody knows what it is. But that's there, so we'll make sure you pull that out and you can kind of start removing. And when you get to the back of the car, zoom in on this, right here, and right here, I have two hooks that are held in with two T25 torque screws. I uh, just undo the screws and pull these things out. Um, I set all my screws and clips in this little retainer here that I have in the trunk just so I know where everything is. So that's pretty much everything in the trunk to get that out. Let me come around to the front. In the front of the car, um, my car is a GLS. I have a 6040 bench seat in the rear and they just kind of pull forward and fold out. If you have a late, earlier submodel or a base model, you might have a bench seat which just kind of yanks out of the bottom. So, and what we got here, in order to get the trunk liner out, sorry about the lighting if it's terrible, but you have to remove the C pillar, which comes out. You just kind of start yanking it and it'll pull out. And actually, back at the bottom here, underneath the seat, if you can see this, you flip the carpet up. And there will actually be a little screw plastic piece on here that you just literally unthread and it separates the door sill from the seat panel which allows you to remove that. And when you remove the front seat, if you have the 6040 seats, they are held in by a latch right here. I simply took a screwdriver and pushed this latch forward to remove the seat and pull the seat forward which then enabled me to pull the trunk liner out um, around a little hook and stuff. It's just, they're hooked on one side. Um, and it's the same on the other side. You can see a plastic retainer I kind of left there. Pull that out, pull your C-pillar out, lean your seat forward, put, use a screwdriver to open that latch, and lift that back seat out, and go ahead and pull your trunk liner out from where it's hooked around. You'll see a hook back there that's on. So once you get that done, the trunk liner then comes out in two pieces. Here is the left side sitting here, and here is the right side. Uh, simply comes out in two pieces, and I imagine it's going to go in even easier now that I know how it comes out. Give you a quick view here. There is the back of the trunk. You just yank and pull that thing out. Um, and there's a C pillar. The other C pillar I have on the other side of the car. Um, so that is basically it about pulling out your trunk liner. 
Um, so if you want to do an air ride setup, this really gives you the freedom. Um, I know I'm going to run my rear airlines through the ABS grommets, which are right there. There's one on each side. Um, I kind of thought they were in the wheel well. I may even drill through the wheel well and do it directly through there. I don't know, but probably just through those ABS grommets. Which will go directly to where the spring sits anyway. Um, so that's where the rear airlines are going to run. And again, I'm sorry about the lighting. I'm going to try to get this as best as possible. If you flip this up, this little carpet, you'll see another ABS grommet here underneath the seat. You see my sub wires coming out through there, and that ABS grommet is where I'm going to run the fronts through. I'm actually going to run them through the back, through this grommet, and it comes out down underneath the car. And I'm going to run that to the front, uh, alongside with the brake lines and fuel lines on either side of the car. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit here and wait for the ice cream truck to go by, <laughs> so you don't hear me. Sorry about the ice cream truck. Well, while we're waiting for that, let's go have a cold beer. Oh yeah, cold beer. It's so good, so good. Anyway, waiting for the ice cream truck. Pause. Beer time. We totally need like an ice cream truck that serves beer, that would be awesome. Goes around the neighborhood, has a little different jingle. Kids go to the ice cream truck and the adults go to the liquor truck. <laughs> Alright guys, so uh, that's kind of a quick tutorial of pulling your trunk liner out. It's the first time I've done it. I have no idea what I was doing. I was just yanking things out. Um, like I said, there's probably like six clips that hold the whole thing in. Uh, plus that one little weird one by the netting on the right side. Once you get it pulled, make sure you pull your wires for your light and your power supply plug if you have one. And pull your seats. It's pretty easy. It comes out in two pieces. I thought it was a one piece liner, but it's two. Uh, so it makes it pretty easy. Um, once you get that out, hey, it's, it's all downhill from there. You got a naked trunk. I can kind of go through and clean up some of the debris that's underneath there that I didn't know was there. Um, and really give me a, basically a fresh slate. To really design my airlift it gives me full access to all the ports that I need to run airlines through and everything that I need to run wires through. Alright, as for now, Mark 4 Moderate, over and out. <laughs>